Yep, got him, got him. Oh, oh. come on, come back. Oh, oh, yeah, got him, got him. Yep, oh, first cast, first cast. You have to be kidding me. Yep, got him, got another one. All right, good morning, everyone. Finally made it to this beautiful uh, remote estuary. Uh, the water level is much lower than the other day when I came for an explore, but check that out. Look at all the timber in the water. That's gotta be, that's gotta be Jack Central. Um, conditions are not the best. We still have the moon up there. It's been full moon two or three days ago, so probably not the best. Uh, morning is a bit chilly. I'm sweating just because I had like a K, a, a K and a half uh, walk and launching was pretty sketchy as well but it's about 13 14 degrees but anyway um, even if it's just to explore the system it'll be definitely worth um, so uh, yeah I'm just gonna start peppering all this timber I'm not sure if I'm gonna go upstream or downstream downstream seems to be blocked there by a log I think tide is pushing still running out a little bit which is perfect that's what I wanted it's always hard to sort of time it well in these systems but uh, looks like I guessed I guessed it right and yeah the plan is to be throwing prawns the MMD splash prawn 95 mil on the heavier combo um, H uh, BCR 604 it's a 8 to 14 pound rod and I'm hoping to christen the New Zealand and then on the light setup that's the my bass rod 48 pound MBR 602 with the um, the old Kolkata Conquest 51 to skip the little plastic um, so yeah let's let's get into it let's get into it. I can't wait <laughs> so I'm gonna put this away for now and I'm just gonna start just gonna start um, peppering the logs with the with the splash prawn. Uh, that's the one I have more confidence on. And then I'll just play a little bit with the with the other prawn. But yeah, let's make a start. Oh, look at that. All right, just gotta dial the reel in. Gotta set the drag. Been making a bit of noise when launching so probably all these logs next to the launch are not gonna be the best like I can squeeze behind that one which is good I think we're gonna explore downstream first and then go upstream maybe I haven't been chasing jacks since since March so yeah it's been a while oh man this place looks so good up a little bit here it's actually gonna be better for casting because I was struggling a little bit okay let's put this guy away again might just 
practice a little bit with the uh, with the other prong. Yeah, got him, got him. Little Jack, little Jack on the conquest. How good is that? Stay on, buddy. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> it's not massive at all, but there you go. On the bus setup, little conquest. Oh man, oh, how good is that, how good is that, we got him, we got the first jack of the season and hopefully many more to come, oh, beauty, beauty, that didn't take long at all. So. We can actually measure him. He's biting down. <laughs> he is biting down. He's not massive by any means, but 30, 32, 32 centimeter jack. Beautiful colors. Ah, what a beauty. First one of the season. How good is this? Target species achieved. Right, let's get the hook out of him without getting bitten. And another quick look at him. Beautiful fish. It just I just love chasing this fish. They're just so cool. They're just so cool. Alrighty. Well, thanks for playing, buddy. See you next time. <laughs> yes. Wow, that was good. That was bloody good. Let's try and get more. He went for it like two or three times. Until he got hooked. Let's hope it's not the only one. I mean, I'd be happy with, I'd be happy with one jack, but I'd be obviously happier with more than one <laughs> and probably a bigger one. But to be honest, um, this size jack was good for this for this rod. Um, maybe up to 40, I would say, up to 40 would be, would be manageable. Anything bigger than 40, it probably is uh, a little challenge for, for this combo. <laughs> Especially because I'm running only 20 pound liter. They just love this. Um, Rapala Christ City Imposter. Eh? I'm, I'm sure you've uh, you've watched plenty of videos from uh, Dang Fishing. If not, just do it because he's the one that actually came up with this idea. 
Um, so all the credit to him. Um, but man, throwing these ones unweighted uh, and slow rolling them on the surface is just deadly. It's just really, really effective on jacks. And obviously other species as well. I think he's got bass on them as well. That's actually my first jack on, on an imposter. The amount of structure around here is just ridiculous. Wow, look, there's a lock across there. Just have a look at this, man. This place is just unreal. This has definitely become my favorite Jack's estuary. <laughs> Hopefully you can get a feel here this season. Let's have a look at this and tell me this is not looking jacky. Far out. There's so much timber in the water, I don't even know where to cast. Yep, got him, got another one. Tiny, but second jack of the season. There you go. That's a tiny little fella, but a jack is a jack. A jack is a jack. And two in a session is pretty good. Let me just go around. Probably his mouth is a little bit too small for this big grip. I'm gonna try and handle him like this. Just want to show you guys this little beauty. Hopefully, it doesn't bite me, but here it is another little jack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? 20. 26. Alrighty. Hey, hey, hey. Get this hook out of you. Shit. Okay. Yep. Hook is out, but. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. See you later. See you later. He's cranky. He's cranky ass. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Hopefully I can find something a little bit bigger. I'm hoping that this is not a just a nursery of jacks. Um, but man, just just as a warm up uh, for the season, I'm just over the moon right now with a couple of little jacks. To be honest. That's, that's really good. So as you can see, I'm just casting into structure and slow rolling this out. There's no other secret to it. <laughs> I'll have to master the skipping of it. I'm just... I mean, the whole point of this DC reel was to skip it. I'm still not... I'm still not getting it right. That's why I changed to a long cast setting, just to cast normally. Look at the amount of structure in this creek. It's just unreal. Far out. And surely, surely we've got to get a jack out of all this surely can't believe we don't get a jack around here
Oh, it definitely opens up here. That's some really good structure over there. Right? And it's a still shaded, so that's really pretty cool. Wow, just awesome. Wanted. Oh, how could that miss the hook when the two little ones did not miss it? <sighs> Fuck! Man, that was a big jack. got two I just missed one what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put this away and want to try something I've been wanting to try here in Australia that worked so well for me overseas and probably most of you know which is glide baiting for jacks I've never tried oh I actually did try it when I came back from the trip but the estuaries were all uh, the estuaries were all stuffed up because of the rains and that continued like that all the way to the end of the season last year so i didn't really i wasn't really able to try this properly so i'm just gonna do it now because you know i've already got two fish let's experiment a little bit Let's try glide baiting for jacks, which is something that not many people do. They do it in, in the they do it in the canals, but not not in the creeks. I just want to see if it's as effective here as it was over there. <clears throat> if you guys want to see. And any of you missed those those videos um, yeah I'm just probably gonna just drop um, a link somewhere up, up on the screen so you can go and check it out that was actually really cool um, heaps of jacks on this on this um, glide bait you can see the teeth marks you can see the teeth marks here it's <laughs> that one has caught me heaps of jacks so let's let's try it here let's see how that goes <laughs> how's this drag pretty uh, pretty good Yep! <gasps> yep! <sighs> First cast! First cast! You have to be kidding me! 
<laughs> How did I miss that? <laughs> so how do you use um, a glide bait? Which is a bit different than a swim bait. Swim bait's got more joints and usually is a steady retrieve, faster steady retrieve. This guy, um, what you want to imitate is a, a little injured bait fish on the surface. You give it just half a turn of your of your reel, and it goes side to side. You can give it some pauses, and it just uh, yeah, it just imitates a little bait fish that's sort of a bit disoriented on the surface. And you could see right now that's effective. We just got the first jack interested in it. This gangcraft jointed claws, they just swim so well. They just so realistic. I'm still shaking from the big boof and from missing that one on the Oh man, I reckon I'm gonna fish this stretch and then start heading back. You always want to leave some slack on your line so it goes nicely side to side. You don't want to you don't want to keep your line tight, otherwise you just kill the action. So yeah, it's it's pretty easy. You just give it a little bit like that, and you can see it goes side to side. Yep, got him, got him. Oh, it's a cool. Oh, oh, that was a good one. It opened the fucking travel. Oh, seriously. Look at this. Fuck. Look at this travel. Check this out. Oh man. <laughs> well one one thing is clear. I have found the holy hole of the fucking mangrove jacks. And that is that itself it's making my day. So I'm gonna have plenty of other, other opportunities to come here and smash them. I'm definitely gonna be upgrading the hooks in this guy. Man, I got so many jacks over the Christmas period and never bent a hook. I got, I think the biggest one I got with this, with this lure was a 44 or 45. Oh man. Oh. Just unreal. I mean, unreal how many jags we have here. <laughs> how good is this, man? Alrighty, folks. I'm just gonna call it here. <clears throat> it's getting pretty late for me. And um, the tidal flow has just stopped. I think it's starting to move in a little bit now, but it stopped about half an hour ago and all the action just stopped as well um, but i can't complain we <laughs> can't believe it we just landed two little ones but missed a massive boof on the on the imposter uh missed the little one on this guy and the one that bent the hooks on this guy i still can't believe it that was a proper that was a proper creek jack so i can't complain at all first session of the season and getting into so much action that means all the time spent trying to find these places is just paying off right now 
and yeah that just makes me so happy because this seems to be a pretty good um jack's honey hole so you'll definitely see more of this this uh this season i'm hoping that the rains don't stuff up things like last year and i'll definitely have to upgrade hooks on this guy i don't want to go too heavy because i don't want him to sink i like how it swims just under the surface and then it floats up so i'll have to um i have to try a few things see how i can balance this with heavier hooks but anyway if you like this sort of stuff make sure to subscribe give us a like and comment down below um what you think about today's session and um, yeah, we'll catch you in the next episode.